All right. Let me uh, check out my thing. Ignore that. All right, testing audio real quick. Ignore that. All right, testing audio real quick. Okay. All right, dope. So give me one second. I got to, uh, eh, I can't keep that video on. All right. So let me grab this link real quick. My channel. Make sure the thumbnail is actually showing up. It is. It is. Ignore that. Actually, you may not even hear that, but it may be desktop audio, so. Where is self advertising? Okay, now I will use my phone as a way to see everything that's going on. Alright, dope. So, I know a solid zero things about Casey's mod besides for the fact that it is just a new expansion to the game overall. Uh, I heard there's challenge runs so hopefully it's fun but I'm gonna just start up here so you may not reroll card choices that's okay trapper pelts cost more your pack okay so do I like get to do all of these exceeded no I can only choose two so the pack is not that good mmm Having only one item though, eh, should be fine. If I just run double no items, see how it goes. So we have a rabbit pelts, they start me off with instantly. Is there... So no music. Oh, there it goes, okay. So you start off instantly at the trading, which is actually pretty good. So, well, this and this will allow me to do infinite sacks, so I'm just going to do that and sacrifice them together, and then I should be set for the rest of this run. I don't think, like, anything is going to happen. So, right now, Stoat is... Eh, Sto actually has worse stats than I'm pretty sure he normally does because he does not have bullfrog stats. He's usually a 1 3. But they like nerf Sto in this. So. I guess most of my power is going to come from this. Uh. I kind of need the wolf, so I'm not going to push my luck. I think it's just not the brightest idea right now. Especially when I don't know anything about this. Alright, so. First encounter, probably going to be extraordinarily easy if I had to guess. Actually, not that easy, but should be fine. Just lock with the squirrel, grab this, grab this, bullfrog, bullfrog kills coyote. On my turn, gonna have to worry about this here soon. This into this, I'll kill. Grab the wolf, do two more damage, and I should be able to max out my damage if I play this correctly. 
Alright. So, that's a lot of damage for the starting phase. Actually, that's the most I could have got. So, I can either go to the trapper, which I honestly don't care to right now. But I could also avoid this card option. Which I... Eh. I kind of need better cards. Adder. Adder's good. Skink. Ant Queen. So... If I can get unkillable with the Ant Queen... Or not unkillable. What is it? I don't know. All of these seem interesting. I think I'll just take Adder. And then I'll use Adder to sack later. But for right now, if I run this correctly, I should have a... So, let me think. Is it... This is what gets sacrificed. And this is what gets the ability, so... This should make this have unkillable. Yeah, okay. So this should be extraordinarily busted. I don't even know how they would stop me from doing whatever the hell I want at this point. Because I have infinite sacks. If I just play this correctly. Because what I can do now is I can just go here, here, wolf cub. And then I get this guy and that's... It's not GG because I still need a s way to get a squirrel. But it's definitely not easy for them to figure out what the hell to do in that situation. Um, do I want to go for excess damage? Kinda. So, use this, grab this, grab this. That should be the max damage I can do, again. Otherwise, I think it's going pretty well, truthfully. Alright, so, more card choices. Moosebuck, I don't really like. Turker Vulture, I don't like either. Or, or Beaver, I really don't like any of these cards, actually. Beaver could kind of be useful, but I don't think you can sack a damn, so. That's a good one. It's dependent on how many cards you have. Uh, mole. How is mole? Mole is an okay choice right now. I think I'm going to take this because it has the potential to actually be really good. Um, this I can't sacrifice. So uh, if I give... Do I want to give Stoat the insta-kill or just keep buffing wolf? This will give me another cockroach, which will lead to a totem. Totem would be very good. Yeah. Alright. So I know I'm taking this route no matter what. So I can either give air defense, which I probably won't do because most of my cards aren't that good. Um, Let me see here. Insta-kill on this guy is interesting. Because I should always have one card, so it should always insta-kill. And then they could also, like, deal a lot of damage. Okay, you know what? Are there any other sigils that I would want on this? Unkillable? Eh. Um. Thorns? No. No. Buy strike would be really good. Alright. Because of the fact I can get buy strike on that and I could have like 12 damage or whatever, I'm gonna actually just give it to Stoat. I know that seems weird, but the potential for this to do like, I don't know, like 15 damage or like <laughs> a lot of damage, I'm going to not try to ruin right now. So, 
This will go down. This will also go down. It'll do two hits. It won't move anywhere because this guy will be in the way. So. I'll just put this card here instinctively. Try to counter some of the damage it's going to do. Can't move. See, so got the go. Okay. Let's kill this guy. Can't actually overkill damage. I could win. Actually, no, this won't win, but it'll do exactly what I want it to. Just give me just one before winning. Alright. Maybe not exactly what I wanted, but. Mm, close enough. What's this other card that I have? Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's try to get some excess damage in. Okay. So I don't know anything about Casey's mod. It seems like you had different starting decks from just playing around in the settings. This, I don't actually know if it does anything. I know it. Oh, wow. Oh. Normally you just get a cockroach. I didn't even know you could get a gold pelt from that, but that's good. Ooh, two totem options? Okay. Bones. Bones are not that useful right now. What about... Uh... Horn? Hmm. I could rock bones and then horns for the black goat. And then I could get blood and bones. Otherwise, I don't really see what else I got here. Because I don't usually rock crows. So I guess I will actually just do this. And then I'll go up here. And if anything better presents itself, then I'll take that. But... Rabbit? Hmm... When a card bearing the sigil is played. Okay. So if I can get rabbit and squirrels, then I should be set. Or if I get rabbit and black goat. Ooh, okay. Alright. I'm gonna rock that for now. Prospector fight's gonna be very easy. It's kinda easy to churn through. There's not much to do for it. If you played Inscription, you like already know about this, but I'll explain just generally. Um, this boss has a mechanic where if you kill the mule, you'll get five cards. One of them will be a squirrel. And then... I forget what the other cards could be, but basically, you if you use it, you're kind of like chilling. I can't really use all my good cards right now, because if I do that... I'm kind of screwed, so. But I will. No, I don't have any cards that have bones either, so. I'm just avoid doing that right now entirely. Um. If I do wolf. Hits. Does two. He's just gonna spawn something up here. Most likely an alpha. He could put alpha over here. But it should be fine. If I do this. It'll still be fine, because this guy in the back row is going to get yeeted. Actually, I think everything in the front row gets yeeted, and that, besides the pack mule. And everything in the back row gets not yeeted, so... I'm going to need to start collecting cards. But they won't attack me this turn here. So, everything in the back row gets removed. Okay. Alright, um, this'll do two, this'll do two, I'll have two turns before I die. No, I'll have one because I'll take two and then I take four, so I have to kill this guy. Hmm. Uh, 
if I block here, I take two less. I can technically just keep blocking and that should allow me just to win. I'll take the three here so I can get the pack mule which will dramatically increase this card's damage. Let's see. And then I should go for maximum damage. If it's not gonna do two worth, I shouldn't do it. This will cost two cards. So unless I can play the Rattler. Nah, that's fine. All right, I'll just take what I get. I already have enough teeth anyway. I'm pretty set on teeth. So does this go all the way through the beginning part of the game? I presume. Mantis God, that's what I was hoping for. So we're gonna yoink Mantis God. And we're going to sack him to the card tentacle thing. Mole, elk fawn. This one's good. I could give that to the wolf. Oh, it's pretty good. I think I'm going to take this and I'll sack it later on. So, I'm going to play this, then I am going to grab Mantis God, put him here. Now this should have try card strike. So now we just want to make my deck be able to cycle cards, which is hard because I'm pretty sure the only card that allows you to cycle in the beginning is uh, just Magpie. I don't think Magpie can... I don't know. Can only choose one card it doesn't allow me to cycle more cards so the rabbit seems like my best bet or be spawning from what I'm seeing this will probably be raven eggs yeah thought so okay so I'm just gonna take the time to get cards cuz Nothing else is really going to happen. There's only... So those are all the cards that was going to spawn for this whole fight? Okay. Oh no, it spawned another one, at least. Alright. There's the black goat I'm looking for. Black goat. So this will do five will allow me to get to one right before the scale ends if I want I should sack this guy so I can get more potential damage so I'm going to do that even though it seems weird then we play this guy 15 damage, unless a card can do 3, it's not worth it. Alright, so that should be a lot of damage, and I should get a... Yo, pass. So, I don't know anything about this all that much. I'm just trying to figure it out, truthfully. It's kind of rough. Oh, uh, wait, what was that one? HP or bones? Well, nothing costs bones, so I guess HP is my best bet, but even though it's. Eh, it's actually kind of likely to get it. Yeah, okay. So, a wolf cub alpha is pretty good. A hoarder mole is very good. And a. Corpse Maggot Alpha is very good. Um, I think right now I just want the Mole. I think the Mole is going to be more useful since my deck is based around two cards at this point. So, what is this one again? Oh, this is the Bone Lord. Oh, no, I don't need the Bone Lord. I could get eight bones at the start, but nothing 
right now cost bones, so there's no point. I'm just gonna try to get um the hoof. Oh, fuck. I needed it to give me the hoof so I could have had infinite stacks with the black goat, but that didn't happen. Um, what's my next bet? Spet. Tile reptile. Forget what class you're in, and it's blocked. Uh, I'm gonna go reptile, and then I guess this is what I'll make. It's kind of weird. I'm not gonna be that useful, but I just need a different head, and I should be set. Mooses have stink, lowers my attack by one. It should be fine. So if I put anything in front, it's going to do one less damage. So I already got the good card. I could end the fight instantaneously if I wanted to. I kind of want to. I don't really see a reason to continue this fight out, so... Two, four, six, and that'll be a win. So, I don't understand how Casey's mod is going to make this extraordinarily harder. I hope it finds a way to, but with how much I know about Inscription shown by this and the fact that I don't use the backpack, I think unless it like introduces some crazy mechanics, it's not going to be that good or that hard. Golden Pelt. Pack Rat's a good one. Gek is kind of bad. Strange Larva is very good. But it takes time. Um. Pack Rat or Strange Larva? Oh, if I get unkillable with Gek, I'll always have something to sacrifice. That could work. Do I have a cockroach in my deck? No. Enough. I want to rely on chance like that. I'm gonna go pack rat. I think pack rat is way better than the other options. Gek could allow me to break, but I don't really think I need Gek all that much. So this is what I need. Put this with this, and now I have infinite sack. If I can just get the mole or magpie eye. I'll show you now. So. You use the mole. You find the black goat. You use the black goat. You get away to spawn him back. You use the wolf. You get the black. Oh wait. You use the rabbit. You get the black goat. We kill and then we win quite simple and that is why I wanted that set up do I have any double cards I don't but I could get a double pack rat which I don't know if that's actually that good truthfully I do flames flames is okay uh, don't really need anything there so I think we go down this route oh I know what I could do oh yeah that'll work that'll work okay so yeah we're going down this way I don't know what I want to sacrifice to one card yet but I'll figure that out So, take two of these. I'll actually take extra of these. Wolf pelts are worse than rabbit because I don't get to choose the thing. What's my currency right now? Alright, I'll take both. Okay. So now I should be able to combine and next time we get trader we should be set up. This is going to be a lot of BS cards that are going to be in my deck though, but... So I can choose to give, I'm probably just going to give Pronghorn to the wolf because I think that's the next bet I got.
that would actually be good. Pack rack could be useful, but I think this is the setup I'm gonna rock. Buy strike. Then we go over here. This is why I bought two gold, because now I can combine two gold belts. Uh, I don't know anything about Casey's mod, truthfully. I was like looking at the Red or not Reddit, um, the Steam Workshop page, and they talked about it as like a big expansion. It seems to be supported by the game's developers, so I decided to open it into this beta to see what the game was about. I don't know anything about it, but it seems interesting. I'm trying to figure out, truthfully. Obviously, we're getting the golden pelt, so when I get to the trader and I have this other pelt, it'll give me double of the good cards. But my setup's already pretty, like, done. Because I have a way to get infinite sacrifices, and that's usually enough to win a game. The Trapper is the hardest boss, though, I will say that, so he could kind of screw me over if I don't play my cards right entirely. What I can do, though, is if I do this, this, this. I just need to clear this lane or this lane for buy strike to happen. Um... First thing I'm gonna do, use the mole, get the pack, get the goat, and now I have infinite sacrifices, so. I can just put this guy in front of anything. I wish he did one damage, but I'll deal with what I got, you know? Hmm. Yeah, they'll cancel out. Oh, why did it play a rabbit? That's weird. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna lose all my cards because I have the trader. Oh, no. I just spent that time to get the pelts and now the trader's gonna yoink them all from me. Okay, whatever. Alright, Mole, you're no longer useful to me. Pack Rat, give me a good item. Uh, I'm gonna eat you now. Pliers is not a good item. Okay. Now I'm just going to put this to block. Should clear out both of these. And then I'll be set for the rest of this boss fight. So now, I'm basically just going to keep grabbing cards. Actually, do I even need to use that? No, I don't, but I'm also going to get some benefit out of doing it, so I'll do it. Alright. So, uh, what does this boss do again? Oh yeah, trader phase, trader phase. Uh, I can draw. I hope I get a pelt, yeah. So, if you're wondering why that doesn't kill, it only kills anything in front of it. Not adjacent to it, so. As I said, this guy's gonna take all of my pelts. Oh no, he's not. Oh, oh, thank God. Okay. Well, all I need to win this fight is just... Oh, you actually keep these, too. Let me think. Because I don't want trash cards in my deck. This is fine. Uh, I'll win from here, so... I guess this, and... I Do I have to take another one? Yeah, I do. Uh, Rattler, I guess, is okay. Okay. 
Technically, all I could have done is just take the first row, and I would have been fine, but I really am already chilling, so. This is the bell one, so here. I'm just trying to get more damage out of this. Alright. So that should be the maximum damage I can get. So. I hope Casey mod, Casey's mod makes this game a lot harder than what it is originally. Because it is not that hard of a game. Rare cards are good. Malgum is good because it counts for everything. Packrat is also decent. I don't really like any of these options they're all kind of okay at best um because right now i can only get one item i probably should have used my last item but i guess amalgam's the best card out of all of those yeah uh amalgam here that's probably what it is or am i like mispronouncing it yeah, no. Amalgam is uh, a card, a rare card in the game that has every tribe, so every totem will activate it, including squirrels, totems. Uh, he's okay. They actually buffed his stats. I think he was normally a two-two, but I don't really like him all that much. But out of all the options I was presented, that was the best one. So now. We should be pretty set. Do I need a cat? Truthfully, no. Uh, what do I want to go for here? Getting a corpse will allow me to start doing a lot of things. Hmm. Warren's not that good. That's not that good. Flight is good. Of uh, the cat. To the goat. Uh, that may work, but the goat won't have the three effect. This will just win. I know that. But I think it's either I go corpse. What do I give corpse to, though? Everything already has a skill. I could give corpse to amalgam or to pack rat. Uh, I think I'm going to take goat and give goat to the bullfrog and then I want to get unkillable for the pack right infinite lives is not the same as unkillable um For the amalgam, I could give it the adder. Doesn't matter all that much. Okay, well, that may be the worst cockroach I've seen. This goat's pretty good. This one's decent. This is okay. Um, I'm just going to take the cockroach because it should allow me to break the game in more ways. And now, this is why I combined the cards. Because now I can get a 2-2 two -two Mantis God, a 6-6 six -six Amalgam. I was hoping for better cards than this. I was hoping for you really, but... I can work with what I got here. So this and... Pretty sure Mantis God is better than this guy. Uh, let me think here. This is a weird deck I'm rocking. And I don't know all the intricate pieces to it. No, it's pretty stacked, though. I do know that. A 6-6 six, six Amalgam's pretty good, though. What would be better? Can I turn anything into a card that would be better than that? I can make this 9-9 nine, nine Amalgam, technically. Ah! I'm gonna grab Mantis God. His ability is way too good to overlook. He's gonna give me another pack rat. I 
I can only take one card, that's why. He's gonna get Oh, no problem, man. I don't know. I try to make intricate things. They're... Bruh. I feel like making things that people haven't seen is a lot more interesting than... What people post, which is just a bunch of... Things everyone has already seen, so... This is a pretty trash starting hand, but... Oh wait, was that a different goat? <laughs> I thought that was the goat. I was like, what? I got so confused. That guy will block everything, so... Oh my god, that is a rough start. It doesn't matter because we win anyway, but... I'm just gonna use this so I can get a better one. Like, it's fun though. So, what is the best I can do? I can combine two pack rats. I can combine the goat to give it one more HP, which I don't really care to do, <laughs> truthfully. Uh, if I had the amalgam, I could have combined the two amalgams. But I chose against that, so. Uh, what is my cost? I have 11 right now, so. Okay. Now, this is gonna seem weird. I'm not going to go to this guy. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why, but. The sacrifice is just better, specifically. So if I sack this into the 3-3 three, three amalgam, I should be pretty Gucci. I could also get an adder with buy strike, and that would allow me to insta-kill everything in three rows. That would be pretty good. But this would also do 9 damage. Mm. I think so long as I get one of my wing cards, I should be set. I do have a lot of wing condition cards. So, kill this guy. Uh, let's see what item I get. Hourglass. That's a very good item. Okay. I don't want to have to go through the hassle of doing all that again. Wow. Such good cards. Oh well. Not much I can do about that. Uh, I don't need another totem, because if I change my totem, it would be bad. I could sack the black goat and get eight, uh bones at the start I could also just combine what what could I combine the two goats you could combine the two pack rats uh I'm just gonna sack the other goat I have I need to like remove as many cards as I can I'm going to yoink the mantis literally immediately for that Sack it can do. Okay. Now, where is this goat? You shall be destroyed. You will now give me eight bones. At the start of a battle, but I don't have any cards that use bones. Worth, right? You saw this in your recommended? That's interesting. At least YouTube's recommending it now, though. Just trying to figure out what I can do. So this is a pretty trash start. I'm gonna just block here, and then I'm just gonna do the pelt. Or, not the pelt. Uh, the bullfrog. To kill this guy. Actually, yeah, I kinda have to, because I don't have another card, and I can't tank 
four damage. Hmm. Okay, so only way to survive this situation is to do move him here. I need to tank. Do I? So I would kill this guy, I would do four damage, he would do three. Yeah, now I'm fine. If I do this, I'll live. Forgotten moves. Okay, I am pretty in a pretty trash situation. Uh, fuck. Okay. Move this guy here. Alright. I'm going to lose this fight. There's not much I can do because if I block, no matter what I do, I lose. I need to make the deck smaller. The deck has a lot of good cards, but I just need one of the good cards. It's fine. You have an extra life anyway. And you don't get a bonus. Well, I guess you get smoke, but smoke is not that important. So, I can choose from a place, or I can just choose a new card. Alright, boop, boop. These are all trash. Having cockroach would be very good if I already have a cockroach, but it also does nothing. I thought I could use it to sacrifice it, but I could not. So this will give HP to a card. Um, what card needs the HP the most? This card is like my saving grace, so I kind of need it to have HP. I will not r risk it. Alright. Whatever card it tells me to combine, I'll just combine. So I have the cockroaches, which I'm not going to combine, and I have pack rat. Technically, I could combine and go and get a bunch of cards. Bunch of combined cards, but I'm just going to do pack rat. The deck needs to be way smaller than what it is right now. It's way too large. Angler is a joke of a fight. Actually, Angler... Angler shouldn't be before Trapper, which is weird now that I think about it. Trapper's usually the last boss. Oh, they made the Angler harder, too. I can't just attack wherever the hell I want. Uh, okay. So, I'm going to stall with Mole Man and just continue from there. Okay, well, now exactly what I'm doing here is just moving this. I attack here. <laughs> So this will block this and this, but I don't really want him to block another attack. But I also need to get a different card. Because what I have right now is not going to cut it. If I... Where do I want? If I want... If I move this card over... By killing this... And then just play... Yeah, this is going to look weird, but it's going to work, so I'll go with it. Very weird setup I have made, but it worked, so... And that'll just win, so. Uh, this deck, very good deck, but 
too much BS in it. Alright. Give me a good card. Oro stack I can do. I can do infinite aura stack and win. So I'll just take aura. I have the setup to do it. Alright. Oh, they made a Leshy symbol, and you can choose that now. It's not just these three. Um, Ouroboros with insta-kill. Uh, nah, that's not that good. Hmm. I know I need to sack, so it's probably going to be Mantis to Ouroboros. Or, hmm. Okay, I know what I'm doing. Cockroach gets sacked into Mole Man, and I can stall indefinitely now, so. Cool. Now, so long as I don't get a trash first hand, I should be fine. Oh, he doesn't let you get the boons either. Interesting. Okay. So is it going to be the same as like the first battle normally? Yeah, so play this sto insta kills. I'll take one damage. So now I need to just play a bunch of cards on the field because he is going to turn them all into gold, so I'm not trying to waste cards. So one, two, three. And then this will move down do four and five. So I would die, so I need to block. I could do here, but then it dies. No, it doesn't. Okay. Sadly, this is this card is going to get yeeted though. I don't really want this card to get yeeted, but I guess if I go to the next phase, it won't insta kill it. So if I do that, it should allow me to do eight damage, and I'll go to the next phase, so it won't kill and it won't attack me either. Dope. Okay. Okay, so this will get me to the next phase, and then I just use Adder to kill the moon. And that's that. So that'll be the end of the first run, I presume. I don't know if there's any more that's required in these runs than just beating Leshy. Like, I don't know how far it goes, but I could only imagine it's not that much. Oh, a card of this sigil is immune to the effects of touch of death and stinky. Oh, okay. Changed it up on me. Okay. I didn't know I was going to do that. So this will do 8 damage and then die. Now I'm going to take... Three damage. Okay. I didn't really know I was going to do that, so. Oh, what? I thought it attacks. That is occupied by a creature. It will strike directly if no creatures oppose it. 
I thought it attacked all four times, but I guess I was wrong. Weird. Okay, I'm glad he made this boss fight at least a little harder. Hmm. Sadly, that's a terrible spot for the mantis because the effect won't activate, but... That kills, and then he's just gonna let me kill him. Okay, so that should be the end of this first run, right? I hope. Yeah. Hearts drawn, 140 biggest attack, 19. Squirrels harmed, oh my god. <laughs> Misplays, ah, okay. I don't know how it calculates that. Alright, so this is going to be just a bunch of stuff. Cards unlocked. The Wild Bull. At the end of the owner's turn, Wild Bull will move in the direction inscribed in the sigils. Creatures that creatures in the way will be thrown back behind it. Behind. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Because we only have one row. I'll try using my card. Cuckoo. Uh, when Cuckoo is played, an egg is created on the opposing square. Decent card, but probably won't be that used. Boss totem. Boss battles are also totem battles. That makes it harder. Okay. So if I do this and this, I can't do all of them I can only do this so I want this because I think it'll be more interesting the trapper pelts costing more isn't that useful okay so you instantly start out with this every time is what it seems air pelts so, very good starting cards. Obviously, I'm going to yoink the goat, because the goat is very good. And having a double attack card is also good. Grizzly is decent. I can make an ant deck. If I wanted to, I would have to start doing that now. I would have to give this unkillable, and then it should allow me to get infinite. If I give this guy unkillable, too. Or if I make it so ants get, um, hairs. Uh, I'm going to choose the worst option because I want to make an ant deck. Uh, okay. So this will give me a pack rat, which I think is going to be better than what I would normally do. So, back to what I was doing. Sorry about that. Uh, I guess I just go for damage. If I out damage, I'll be fine. 
Main server. Uh, I guess I'll use this because this is a terrible item. And just play. Not that many teeth for that round, but yet again, I did make the worst option of the two. So, yeah. I'm going to try to get a sacrifice here. Can an ant queen sack with an ant queen? I don't think so, but... Eh. I really just need a cockroach. Flight is good. I can take flight. Sack flight to the wolf. That would be a decent idea. I guess. I was hoping for a better card out of those options, but this is kind of what I'm going to have to go with. So sparrow into wolf. Not definitely not tri strike or buy strike, but it's decent. So this totem battle is probably going to kill me. Oh, that's not that good of a totem. I can actually use that to avoid damage. So one damage. It's also only on birds. So this would deal one damage. Uh, I'm just gonna tank. I need w one more thing to deal uh, enough damage or to actually get a good card, so. If I leave this in front, it'll do two, but then it gets killed, so. Hmm. That's fine though. Because then I can just use, what do you call it? Uh, Stoat or Bullfrog since I have the same stats now. To kill, and that'll take care of that. This will be infinite stall, so I'm just going to take the time to actually go and get everything I need. Yeah, no, you're not conceding. I want to get all my cards, and then I want to play the maximum damage I can on the field. You really don't have a lot of squirrels, though, is what I learned. Or is what I see. Oh. Go into this. Bullfrog can do some damage. So that'll deal four. Go down by one. I'm going to do this one more turn. And then I'm just going to let it finish out. It was okay. Not that many teeth yet again, but it was okay. I mean, same old, same old. Uh, I can choose race. I can get another pack rat. Pack rat's kind of my saving grace right now, because it's at least okay of a card. Wolf Cub is a good card. I used to think Wolf Cub was a bad card, but I was wrong. I played Wolf Wolf Cub a lot more, so I'll actually take it. Yep, just give me another pack rat. I'm okay with that. Alright, so. This is a very easy Wolf Cub setup. Okay, so they're just going to try to kill me with flight is what I'm getting at for this. Hmm. 
Okay. Meh. I don't... I do want to see the boss battles since they should be a lot more interesting. That card one's a very good one. The wild bull. What does it mean by throw behind? I don't know what that means. You know what? We'll see. I'm actually interested enough since it's a new card. It's definitely not a card I've seen before, so. Um. You can sack the wild bull. Wild bull's ability, but if I do. guess that I kind of don't want to do a sacrifice but I'm forced to all right after I beat the prospector I'm gonna take a little break and then come back think this will be okay so 2 HP to any card I want want hmm. Jesus I've had like eight voice cracks this whole stream it's insane Nah, I don't care that much. Alright, so one of my cards is going to get used up in the first phase, and then I'll just use the other one to win the second one. So, boss totems. <laughs> he likes this. Hmm. So, Bulldog is actually a very good one since I can manipulate it to be beneficial to me. Here, I'm just going to block with smoke. Alright, um... Deal s yeah, so this kills both. Okay, so it just pushes it where it was, is what that means. Not, like, creates a second row. I guess that makes sense. This will kill the frog, so... Or the bull. I have a bunch of cards that do just about nothing. Nah. Yeah, that was weird. Oh, okay. I'll take it. I'm trying to get some better cards here than what I got. All these cards are like okay, I guess. They're not like terrible. They're just okay. So, now I'm going to, I guess I'll grab the squirrels since I need to play this. Two black goats is very powerful for a starting hand. Just let that continue. Alright, so I'm going to get squirrels from this. I'll take two damage, but I'll also get squirrels, so it'll allow me to win next turn. Alright, so let me grab this, this, and this, this, and this, and then put the squirrel over here and win. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna take a break real quick. I'm going to get some food and then I'll be back. After that, I should be able to grind a lot more, though. Not trying to let my food get cold, that's all. Child 13 is good. Mole Man. Uh, Child 13 is better than those options. Alright. I'm going to just let it, I guess, sit here for a while. I'll be back, though.
Sorry about that. I was hungry. If you're wondering what I ate, it was McDonald's, so it was okay. It wasn't anything good. Well, it wasn't bad, but you know what I mean. Alright, let's win this run real quick. I think there is a higher chance I can get bone. Yeah. Nope. Ah, uh, I need, what do you call it, cockroach so bad. I also have like three of these cards I do not need. It just keeps giving me more of them. Alright, so. This run from what I remember was very, very good. Or, not this run, the last run was good. This run is decent. Uh, what is it? So... So, uh, I don't know how it's going to get a little more interesting, I hope. Because right now it's still kind of as bland, not bland, but it still basically feels like the original inscription just with a little bit of tweaks. Like taking one item away from me, or taking all my items, truthfully, is not that much of a deal. Uh, what do I have? Five. Yeah, I might as well not go to the trader. He's not going to give me anything good. I guess we just keep trying to get... What do you call it? Cockroach. Oh my god. Please stop giving me the turkey vulture. The turkey vulture is not what I want. <sighs> At least it'll be a 6-6 six, six, though. That's pretty good.
That's an instant win. If I get enough bones for it. Actually. If I keep my deck pretty slim, I should be able to just do what I want to do. Here then. What is this? A rattler? Uh, I can't beat the rattler right now. Adder is also not what I was hoping for. Two, two, yeah, so, just sacrifice here, move the pack rat right over to here, grab this, and win. Dope, okay. So, I could do two options here. Uh... I forget what grouping the cockroach is in, so I'm just gonna go over here. Listen, I know a lot about the game. I don't know everything about this game, though. We do have a worker ant, though. That's good. Uh, two ant queens is also good. We are trying to somewhat make an ant deck, but it's probably not gonna work out is what I'm getting at. Is what I, I think I could take the worker ant and then be chilling, but I think I'll just take the ant queen. We'll go over here, we'll sacrifice our goat. Where is it? There you are. This will allow me to get eight bones, so I should play the turkey vulture off the rip. Is what that means. Wild bull is not as good of a card as I thought it was going to be. It's okay. Uh, one damage, two damage would kill. So I'll move it to here. And I'll move over. Use Stoat to kill Coyote. I'll kill both of these. Alright. Pack rats, okay. I'm just gonna keep going with what I'm doing. It is somewhat useful to be able to swap positions, but not to what I think they thought it would be use wise. Like, yes, it is useful. No, it is not that useful. Alright. This is getting annoying. I just want to, like, win this match at this point. It's just like, please win. Alright. So, gonna go back to. Just trying my luck, I guess, here. Or more, I guess, if I don't want more cards, which I kind of don't, I already have enough. And I choose one I can't succeed. So the chances of getting a turkey vulture are 1 in 10. So hopefully I don't get it. Fuck. I wanted to fail that. Ooh, that's a good card though. Elk fawn. Hmm. Alright. Not that mad then. Uh, we'll just combine the pack rats together. I don't know if it allows you to get double. I know like when you do it later on you can get double effects, but I don't think in this form it allows you to do it. Um, let me see. What is a card I would like to have more HP? The wild 
bull is kind of clapping right now. It is kind of clapping. I think we'll do Wolf Cub. May have missed something obvious there, but. I don't think. Well, actually, he did make the angler fight a lot harder. Ooh, that's gonna make it quite hard, actually, to win this fight. No, those are crows. He barely uses crows. I thought those were for the sharks. I was like, oh, I may, I may get clapped. All right, so. Uh, if I use Turkey Vulture right now, it wouldn't be that good of an idea. Alright. Because I want to use Turkey Vulture to win the fight. Actually, do the pots have flight defense on them? I don't know if they do. I guess I'll find out, huh? Alright, this could cause me to lose this fight, but... I don't remember them having air defense. They do not. Okay, so I'm chilling. Cool. Okay. Things you remember. And they're quite useful. Mm, well, yes, well, yes. <laughs> that was annoying, but... I found it funny. Algum, pack, rat, long elk. I guess I'm algum. Out of all the rare cards, most of them aren't that good, interestingly enough. Oh my god. They just keep giving me more and more stuff. I don't really want. Um, wow. Huh. Huh. I literally just want one. One unkillable card. But that's not looking like it's happening all that much. Uh, Black Goat's the best card there. I don't need to do the totem fight because I'm not going to do the secret thing. How many? I have 10. That's really not that many. Yeah, I'll just win off the rip. Oh, no, I won't. I'll get close to winning, though. Alright, well, that's a win. Oh, I can buy a golden pelt, thankfully. I really shouldn't have bought the golden pelt. I should have bought... Uh, I wasn't thinking. Oh, well. <laughs> What's, like, the least useful one to the least useful one? I could give it to child. But that, like, ruins the point of the ant deck. Um, uh, other turkey vulture, you'll be used for this. Version 0.21. Interesting, interesting.
kills, this guy would come down. He won't kill. He'll attack, he'll come down. I should deal three and take three, so I'll be fine, yeah. Well, all those cards move positions. It's funny. So that would be five. That won't get me anyway. I'll survive this turn, but it's not looking good, just to say the least. a lot of damage in the turn that's actually enough to win wow all right oh my god this game does not want me to do what I want to do okay whatever alpha is a decent card I guess I keep trying to make this ant deck. Or a stacks deck. <laughs> Do I sacrifice or forest? <laughs> that would be terrible. <laughs> but it may be funny enough that I do it. hoping for like better cards at this point but what I have right now is quite bad Ouroboros is such a good card, but like, in this case, it's not going to look that good. I just don't have a good deck for it. Oh, the Cuckoo. <sighs> oh my god. Alright, give me Prong. So it would do 36 damage before it died. If I double it, it should. This card's my saving grace right now so badly. I keep trying to make the ant deck work and the ant deck has just not happened even though I've tried to make it work for so long now. <laughs> it's literally just been this turkey vulture, which is a card I dislike strongly, but the fact I can play it instantly because I sacked a goat. Oh, that's a terrible totem. Okay, dope.
Apparently, these are considered those cards. This is a weird, weird, weird setup I got going on right now. Oh, I just lost. Oof, I didn't think. My bad. Alright. Well, I'm gonna end it here, but I don't think this run should be, these runs should be too bad. This is misplaced. I wonder how it calculates that. But, either way, I'll see you all uh, when I run it again. Peace out, people.